Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. And today we're reviewing the upcoming Buff Bunny launch on August 20th at 1 p.m. CST. This is the Secrets in the Sand collection. So a lot of really pretty like solid neutral tones. I would say that makes up about half the launch. And then there's also some like crazier gold foil pieces. Personally, I lean a little bit more towards the neutral tones. And super huge announcement, guys. It happened. The Buff Bunny support codes are now 10% off discount codes. So I'm so excited about this. I had a feeling it would happen after Alphalete changed theirs, but I just wasn't sure. But it's official. Any order you place now, if you use code Catherine, which is my personal discount code, you get 10% off. So you will be able to use that at the launch. I don't have prices for all of these pieces yet, but they usually post them about like the Wednesday or Thursday before the launch. And I'll always keep you guys updated on my Instagram stories. But just keep in mind, whatever price they post, you will get 10% off that with my code. While I really love like the theme idea itself and all of like the launch content they've been posting, it's very like Egyptian, like, you know, desert sand. And I think that's very pretty. Some of the pieces in this collection just don't really like scream my name, but there are a couple new pieces that I'm excited about as well as some colors that we haven't seen before that are also super cute. So without further ado, let's start off with the colors. So as we introduce each color, I'll also post the color comparisons on the screen. So we just start out with Onyx Black, which is just their basic black color, white. There's also Grounded Dark Olive, which we saw this one in the Newbury collection last year. This collection reminds me a lot of the Newbury collection and that was like exactly a year ago. There's definitely a lot of Newbury in this collection as well. We also have the color Nile, which is like this deep teal. H2O Blue, which has launched before, but I don't don't have anything in the collection in that color. Pharaoh, which is this nice little pinky purple. Mirage, which I think this color is so cute, like a little terracotta. Favorite color, which is Lotus, this like kind of light, just very vibrant purple, as well as turquoise. So those are like the basic colors of the launch. And then we get into the crazy things. So there is bossy print in this launch, but it's not the normal bossy. It is a gold foil bossy. Most bossy prints are white on the inside. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you. This is a classic bossy print and on the inside of it, the bossy prints were always white because the dots are white. So had to be the lightest color on the inside. But since this new bossy print is a foil that's like pressed onto the fabric, the inside of the fabric can stay the same color. So you'll never get that white show through when squatting or like when your knees are stretched in this kind of bossy print. And I also really don't get any like crackling of the individual like bossy print foils because it's such like a small amount of foil that when you stretch, the fabric just kind of stretches around it. So I feel like this will last pretty well. So this is the Mirage Gold Bossy. There's a bunch of other gold bossy prints. Then there's Gold Leopard. We'll talk about this one in the Rebel Leggings. And then lastly, there are Black and Gold Cobra prints. This is the Black Cobra, I believe from the Mad Scientist collection, but I have seen pictures of this versus the new Black Cobra fabric and they look pretty identical. This is what it looks like, almost like little snake scales. It's like slightly brushed on the inside and I actually really liked this fabric and felt like it was very stretchy but also slightly performance. Okay, now I'm going to insert all of the squat tests. Then I'm separating this video into categories by leggings, shorts, tops, etc. So we'll start with the leggings and starting off with the Rebel leggings. So I used to size down in the Rebel leggings, especially in the like original Black Leopard. But last time I tried the White Leopard Rebel, it felt more true to size. I was wearing a small and didn't have any extra fabric. So I did stick true to size here and I went with a small. So this only comes in the Gold Leopard. It is very bold and to be honest, like, Besides wearing this for some sort of costume, I don't really see myself wearing this. I just sometimes feel like these like super foiled pieces, they don't like breathe quite as well in the gym. The classic rebel legging shape, all leggings today have no top band and no front seam. They're all pretty high rise as well. We have a just slightly extended crotch gusset here, 26 inch inseam. And I always love the curved glute seams on the rebel leggings, very flattering on the glutes. These will also be pretty cellulite friendly as well because I got a little print to them. And because I haven't tried 
tried on these ones specifically with the foiling. We're gonna give these a try and talk about compression and all that. Okay, so here are the Rebel leggings. And as suspected, I find these much more true to size than the like original Rebel leggings. So I know not everyone sized down in those, but if you ever did, I would definitely say to stick more true to size now. So I'm wearing a small, they fit very true to size. And if anything, if in between, I might even choose a size up, but you really could probably go either way. So no front seam, definitely very high rise above the belly button. I feel like since it is like a gold foil, it's feeling just like a little bit more compressive. So maybe medium to high compression. All of the leggings today are 26 inch inseam. So they hit around my ankles. Also look at my heels. Um, I wore some shoes the other day that literally just sneakers and you know, they freaking rubbed my heels raw. And now I'm upset because my heels hurt. Anyways, Rebel leggings are always pretty high on the booty scale. I might give these medium to high just because this fabric's just a little more compressive. So I feel like just like a step below maximum booty potential and like a little bit of cellulite coverage, as I said before. So if you like the Rebel leggings, they're here. Personally, I just don't really see where I'd wear this color. Next up, a classic, the Legacy leggings. So I'm just gonna talk through these because we've reviewed them so many times that we, we know about the Legacy leggings at this point. So this is the grounded dark olive color. I wear a size small in the Legacy leggings. Definitely recommend true to size. These ones only come in the solid colors, which I feel like are a little less compressive, more true to size than the gold bossy prints. So if you're in between, I would size down in these. They're a 26 inch inseam made of the Nubri fabric, which is a super soft brushed fabric. Here's a close up of the Nubri. Nubri is my favorite Buff Bunny fabric. It's so soft, hugs every curve and just is super comfy. Definitely their best selling fabric. Compression, I usually get around like a light to medium and you have these little butterfly curved seams in the back. They do go above the glutes. So I usually give them around a medium to high on the booty scale. Still super flattering without being like super curved. And you can get a little bit of cellulite coverage in the Nubri fabric, but they tend not to be cellulite proof. You're really only gonna see cellulite proof in like a print that can truly disguise it. And the Legacy leggings also have a little extra seam down the side of the leg. These are my go-to Buff Bunny legging. Definitely if it's your first time shopping Buff Bunny, this is definitely a top pick for me. Another feature that's exclusive to this launch is that to the Buff Bunny logo in the back is a gold foil, usually it's silver. We have our first guest. She's in one of her moods where she just like really wants love and she'll just come up and start biting our toes because that's her way of showing affection. Are you gonna start getting upset? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And here she is, Peach. Oh. <laughs> then there's the Legacy Leggings V2. I did not get these, but they're made of that Cobra print fabric. So they're gonna have the black and gold Cobra. So they're just like a little bit shinier, the same shape of the Legacy Leggings, but they're a little more in your face with a little shine, a little texture. So those will also be a 26 inch inseam. I suggest true to size and maybe even size down if in between, just based on how I felt with this material from the Mad Scientist collection. It was actually pretty stretchy. Still medium high on the booty scale. Personally, I just prefer the regular Legacy leggings, but if you're looking for a little more texture, a little something, there's the Legacy V2s. Then making a comeback are the Monarch leggings. These come in basically all of the solid Nubri colors. So it'll be in Mirage, Pharaoh, Lotus, Nile, but it does not come in turquoise. It comes in the darker colors too, but these are the ones that I'm like most excited about. So the Monarch leggings launched in the Nubri collection last year. And at first I was like, you know, these are too much. There's too much going on. And then they've actually become like one of my more reached for leggings. So some details about these is they look a lot like the Buff Bunny Siren leggings. They have the cross waist, they have the butterfly back details, but they also have side pockets, which Honestly, you don't have a ton of side pocket leggings. And you know, I have the Rosa pocket leggings, but something about adding a little cross waist, it's just so flattering. I really want to love the Siren leggings, but for some reason with the energy fabric, they just like haven't been fitting quite right for me. I feel like they squish my glutes down a little bit and they're not hugging the curves in all the right places, but the Nubri fabric, it hugs the curves in all the right places. So, so these are another one of my top pick leggings of the launch just because I really miss these. They haven't brought them back in a year and I was like, are they ever gonna bring them back? So I'm very glad they're bringing them back. I have them in this beautiful Mirage color. Okay, so we have the Monarch leggings and I don't know how they've done it. The Nubri fabric feels even more like contouring and naked feel 
than it did in the past. So. so love this fabric. So we have the cross waist that dips down in the front. I love the little dip down because it gives you a little lower tummy control. The pockets are a great size. They do fit my phone completely. And it is quite a high rise. So it works for me because I do have such a long torso, but when working out in these, you may get some rolling of the waistband. So just be aware of that. Personally, I don't have that issue, but anyone with a shorter torso may. So no front seam. Gusset is not very visible from the front. And then just kind of resembles the legacy leggings in the back. Got the little tri seams very hugging and contouring of the glutes. With the Newbury fabric feeling a little more lightweight, I would expect potentially a little less cellulite coverage. These really are more of like a light to medium compression right now. If you're looking for more cellulite proof, I would go for one of the bossy prints and medium high on the booty scale. And yeah, just feel like these are very like unique pocket legging. I love the little cross waist and then 26 inch inseam. The seams just go straight down the side. Next we have the Rosa leggings. So these are going to be a little bit different because the Rosa leggings only come in the gold foil bossy prints. Generally Rosa leggings are kind of the most basic of the Buff Bunny leggings. 26 inch inseam, high rise. They're just very simple, no front seam, slightly dipped down waistband in the front. Then the back is just a very like slightly curved glute seam. So you don't have those triple seams of the legacies, but this launch, it only comes in the bossy prints. And like I said before, it is lined with the solid color, but let's give it a try because I did wear the bossy print. I did wear the gold bossy shorts today and they did feel a little more compressive, a little more restrictive in the gold foil bossy. Okay, here are the gold bossy Rosa leggings. So the solid Newbury fabric feels very thin, naked feel, lightweight, and like light to medium compression. The addition of the gold foil bossy definitely makes these a little less hugging and a little more compressive. So I feel like I'm getting medium, potentially medium high compression in some areas. So these definitely are giving me more hold, but I also feel like it gives me a little more like hand cake butt. Like you can't really adjust these to contour the glutes quite as well. And if you do, it kind of like falls out over time. So personally to me, these aren't quite as flattering. We're just gonna go with medium on the booty scale. You will get some cellulite coverage, which is a plus. Still seems above the glutes and everything. You can just see it doesn't hug the curves in quite the same way. And I felt the same with the Rosa shorts. But if you're looking for more compression, but still legging that's like soft on the inside, like the Newbury fabric, these are good for that. No front seam, slight dip down and definitely a high rise. I feel like I would like maybe like a solid colored legging with a gold bossy top if I wanted just like a hint of the gold bossy but I just don't really think the gold bossy is my favorite but yeah other than that Rosa leggings very basic so the Rosa leggings do not have any pocket in the waistband like the shorts I always like the seams on the Rosa leggings because they're kind of like a thinner seam as opposed to like a thicker flat lock seam like the legacy leggings then the material girl ribbed leggings are back so I did try these once, I forget, but I think it was a while ago and they just ran like a little bit big for me and were sliding down and I just wasn't a huge fan. So this time I did size down to an extra small. Then I read the description of what they said about these in the little affiliate PDF that they sent out and they said they made them all a little bit smaller because they were a little large for sizing last time. So they might be too small because I did get an extra small and they're looking pretty small. But ribbed leggings are often very stretchy, so we're hoping I can still get them on. But anyways, Material Girl ribbed leggings. They are a 72% nylon, 28% spandex, kind of sleek performance feeling rib, but it's not shiny. The inside is a little softer. And here's a close up of the ribbed material. A nice thing about this ribbed material is that it doesn't collect a lot of pet fur. It just slides off very easily. So it's kind of more of a performance material in that way. So we have a slightly dipped down V waistband in the front. There's a gold logo in the back, one of the like sewn in decal logos and some curved glute seams. So let's give this a try. Okay, so I was a little nervous about the sizing of these because I did size down to an extra small but I had no problem getting these on and I actually like the fit. So they did adjust the sizing. So you probably don't have to size down, but I think you definitely can if you like a little more of a snatched compressive fit. And I think this will also help with the rolling down. I'm just gonna do a couple walks, a couple squats. And I'm feeling like these have pretty good grip because I'm feeling pretty snatched in the waist 
but I'm not feeling like I'm spilling over the waistband. So do what you will with that information, but personally, I think I prefer the extra small to how I would feel about a small. So unfortunately, these are black and sometimes that's hard to see. Solid high rise and it dips down in the front of the waistband. Kind of thinner seams, similar to the Rosa leggings. There's a slightly extended gusset and these are also pretty curve hugging and flattering on the glutes. So the seams curve around the glutes a little bit and I was able to pull them up slightly for a little bit of glute separation. So I feel like if I had the size small, sorry, we're trying to see if it stays. I feel like if I had the size small, they might not stay up as well around the glutes. We're gonna go with medium high on the booty scale, even though I size down, they are not squishing the glutes down. This material is very stretchy. Also, since we do have a little bit of ribbing, they offer a little extra cellulite coverage. These are feeling a little shorter, even though they're all supposed to be the same inseam length. I just feel like these are slightly more ankle length on me. I'm gonna go with medium compression. I do feel snatched, but they are still super stretchy. Yeah, I'm glad that I finally am trying these in a size down because I just didn't love how much they slid down before. And I definitely had extra room in the fabric around the crotch area in the past. So I'm confident that this is a better fit for me and they should stay up more. Next category is shorts. So there's only two shorts in this collection and they're both four inch. We already know how I feel about that. My thighs, they just eat four inch shorts right up. So these are not my favorite. Will I still wear them? Sure, would I go out of my way to buy a four inch short? Probably not. But for my four inch short ladies, I envy you because these are super cute. So we're starting out with the siren shorts. First of all, this purple color. I die for it, I die for it. It's so pretty. So the siren shorts are kind of the same construction as the siren leggings, cross waist, and the little butterfly back detail four inch inseam, but instead of the siren leggings being made of the energy fabric, these are made of the Nubri fabric. So a better choice in my opinion, just cause I prefer the Nubri, double brushed, super soft. So these ones also have no front seam. Let's give them a try. Okay, so here are the siren shorts. We have reviewed these before, but nice high rise cross waist with the dip down, no front seam. These are four inches, so they do roll up on me at the gym, but any of the Nubri shorts, in the solid Nubris are very thick thigh friendly. Like I have a lot of space in the thigh, so no need to size up for any thigh compression. The gold bossies are a slightly different story, but yeah, any of the solid bossies, very true to size, no need to size up. Medium high on the booty scale. I just wish that these were an inch or two longer, then it would be totally obsessed with them, but unfortunately we're still stuck with a four inch. Anyways, light to medium compression and super soft. I may or may not have a dirt spot on these somewhere because I did wear them to the gym, but I will say if you're, if you're going for this lotus color, I feel like it might go quick. Next, we have the Rosa shorts, very similar to the Rosa leggings, so we're not going to spend too much time on them, but just basic slight dip down in the front, no front seam, slightly curved glute seams, but the Rosa shorts have one of those like inside hidden waistband pockets. Personally, I don't really like use them, but you could put a key in here or something. And these do come in solids as well as gold bossies. This is the Nile gold bossy and the Rosa shorts. So these come in bossy print and non bossy print. So the bossies are always going to be a little more compressive. We do have that little pocket in here. Definitely super high rise, no band, slight dip down. And yeah, similar to the leggings, I just felt like it was given a little pancake booty at the gym. Wasn't feeling like it was really doing a full glute enhance. So we're sticking with medium on the booty scale. Although these aren't cutting into my thighs at all, just because they're a little more compressive, I would say they're just slightly, they just run slightly smaller than a solid version of the shorts. So I still wouldn't recommend a size up unless you're in between, but just know that they do feel slightly more compressive than the solid colors. I would just give this a medium compression in this bossy print. But yeah, overall, just not loving this gold foil bossy print in terms of the fit. Um, it still did feel very breathable at the gym though. And just like that, we are done with shorts. Moving on to sports bras. We're starting out with the Sphinx ribbed sports bra. So I feel like a little theme of this collection is a little, a little peekaboo cleavage action. So honestly, I'm kind of here for it. I think it's cute. And it's like a way to show off like a little bit of cleavage without being just like a low cut V where I feel like I always fall out of those. 
These bras, you have a little peak of cleavage, but I feel more secure in them. So the Sphinx ribbed sports bra, this will go with the Material Girl ribbed leggings, as well as the new skirt that we'll talk about in a little bit. But we have removable cut pads, ribbed material, little keyhole cutout in the front. And then it does have kind of like a higher neck, more open shoulder action and comes to a little tee back. And the tee back has a Buff Bunny gold bar logo. This one is too much for me. I kind of had a feeling this would be a lot, but um, for my larger cup size ladies, this is definitely a very maximal cleavage bra. Anyways, the Harmony Halter I felt like was a little more tame. This one is a little, a little hello. Personally, a little too much for me and my bust, but I support anyone who wants to rock this because I mean, it does look good. Maybe I'd wear this at my apartment gym. Everyone has a different level of things they'd be comfortable going around in. Anyways, so anyways, this did feel pretty snug. So it is a ribbed material, just like the leggings I sized down in. This one, I believe I got in a small. I'll double check that. But if anything, I think it runs a little bit small. So if you're in between, I'd size up. But I think I would stick with my normal size just because I do like a little bit of extra compression in my sports bras just to keep the girls tamed. Even though we have a lot of cleavage action going on in the middle, I feel like I would still not fall out of it because I feel like, you know, the nips are kind of like here and I still, I still have some space. So I don't think I'd fall out. I just am exposing a lot. They do kind of curve around the side boob here. So not necessarily getting any side boob, but you do have like a little more armpit area exposed. Definitely a high neck kind of enhances the shoulders. It's a long line. If we had to rate the coverage, actually it's pretty good like outer coverage. We're gonna go light to medium with the coverage just because I feel like this takes away quite a bit of coverage. And then here's the back, just little T-straps. You're not gonna lose any straps. Still very free and open arms. But yeah, definitely a cute bra if you're trying to make a statement with the cleavage and support. Support is about a light. Next, we have the Rosa V2 sports bra in the Gold Leopard. So I have reviewed this bra many times. So we're just gonna go over some things. First of all, it is the V2 version, which means it's made of the Elysium fabric. So in this case, it is the Gold Leopard Elysium fabric. Sleek performance material, same as the leggings we went over earlier. It's the same classic Rosa sports bra shape. So you have pretty full coverage. Sometimes I do get a little bit of side boob in this one, but I never fall out of it or anything. Pretty high support, especially in these Elysium fabrics. And then the Rosa V2 sports bra, the straps in the back actually like weave in and out of each other instead of the regular Rosa sports bra where they just kind of sit on top of each other, which we'll go over in a minute. Then just some seam detailing on the back. This one's pretty true to size, but it can be a little bit compressive. So if you're in between, I would definitely choose a size up. Then there's the Revolution Sports Bra V2. So may or may not be exactly the same as this one that I have from the Mad Scientist collection. So I'm just going to kind of base it off of this. This one I found to have a little more coverage than the old Revolution bras. We do have finally a new Revolution bra so I can actually like compare them and tell you if it has more coverage and if I finally approve of this bra because for a long time I just, I did not like this bra. But this one did work for me a little bit better. So it's got a square neckline, long line, removable cups, and a strappy back with like a little ring detail. So I don't think I'll do an official try on portion of this one, but I would stick true to size. If you're in between, I'd probably size up, but medium coverage and medium compression. Same fabric as those Legacy V2 leggings. Then guys, we finally got a new Revolution bra. So I have not tried a Revolution bra in probably like two years because I had tried them a couple times. I really wanted to love them because look how cute it is. The square neck, the back, it's so cute. But for so long, it didn't have a lot of coverage in the boob space here. And every time I would lean over at the gym, I would kind of start falling out and I'd have to tuck myself away. And it was just getting to be kind of a nuisance at the gym, just like a four inch short with rolling up your thighs, having to tuck the girls back in is a little annoying. But I kind of noticed that they seem to have a little more coverage now. So we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, both laid flat and on me and see if there's any difference, but I really wanted to get it in this beautiful color. So we just went over this, but square neckline, removable cups, long line, and little crisscrossy back. Okay, so here's the old Revolution bra with the new Revolution bra, and I've lined up the seams, and as suspected, we have about a half inch more coverage on the top, and even that little bit amount of coverage really helps in terms of me not falling out of this one. And looks like the long line portion is about the same.
Okay, so here's the new Revolution bra. And by new, I mean it's been updated. Not this launch, but I haven't tried it in a while. So I did compare and we do have a little bit of extra bust space and I feel like I'm not spilling out of it like I used to. Something that I have always liked about the Revolution bra, it has nice wide straps that kind of go in and cover the side boob area. Since it's still such a soft fabric, it doesn't cut into your armpits and cause any sort of discomfort. It is long line as well, so no true elastics, a square neck, and then has this super cute little strappy back that I've always liked. So I will say it's a huge improvement and I was able to wear this in the gym a lot more comfortably. And I don't remember having to like tuck myself in or anything, but if I tried to do a little shimmy, I can stay pretty secured. I definitely would have to adjust myself maybe like once during the workout if I'm doing anything that's a little more like bent over. So compared to something like the Rosa bra where I never really feel the need to adjust, I might have to adjust like once or twice in this one, but, but the old Revolution bra, I would have to adjust after every exercise. So I think that these are a lot more large cup size friendly now, and I think I'm still able to wear it, but I would say it's still not like my number one Buff Bunny bra. In terms of coverage, we're gonna go with medium, just because it does kind of scoop a little bit here, and support is about a medium as well, and very comfortable, um, true to size. If you're in between, I might size up though. And next piece, and I think probably my favorite sports bra is the Harmony Halter bra. If there's one thing about me is I love a nice statement sports bra. I love a unique sports bra, something a little different, and something that's just a little bit fun and this is definitely the most unique sports bra of the collection. I wore it to the gym today and I honestly loved it. it. Made me feel super confident. I really loved the places that it covered up and then the places that it exposed. So first of all I'm gonna look up the definition of halter because I always thought halter meant that it went around your neck. Now two times Buff Bunny has called like these high neck tops halters and I trust that they know more about like clothing definitions than I do because I have like I'm not a designer. Okay, it says a strap by which the bodice of a sleeveless dress or top is fastened or held behind the neck, leaving the shoulders and back bare. This is not fastened behind the neck, but I feel like it still leaves like the shoulders a little bit bare. So I don't know. No. I don't know guys, I'm seeing multiple definitions now that say that it's something that is fastened behind the neck. So I feel like this is not a halter because it does not tie around your neck. But anyways, that was something that no one asked for, but I was curious, so. Anyways, made of the Newbury fabric, it's got removable cups, this little twisty design, little peekaboo keyhole, much like the Sphinx ribbed sports bra. Again, we have like still good coverage, but just like a little peek, little peek of cleavage. So then this bra looks really fun in the front, but then in the back, we mean business. So this reminds me a lot of the candy wrap sports bra because in the back, we switch to elastic kind of bra straps here. So it's actually pretty supportive and they are adjustable straps, which is amazing. You know, you wouldn't expect much from the front, but we have these adjustable straps and we have a hook and eye closure in the back that also comes with one of those bra extenders. So generally, if you're in between on this one, I'd probably, I guess you could size down because you'd have extra space. But yeah, this one's actually a three hook closure, so super secure. Okay, so here's the Harmony Halter Top. And I just think this one's so cute, so fun. So actually has really good coverage for what it is. I know we have this little peep here, but this is so much smaller than the Sphinx ribbed bra. That one was like here to here. This is just like a little something, you know, a little, a little tasteful, a little tasteful cleavage, which I'm here for. And I felt like this really contained me well in the gym where it wasn't like falling into this little hole. Unlike the like heartbreaker bra that was launched in the Mad Scientist collection that had this little cutout that I felt like I was just like falling straight into it. And I wore my shirt over this the entire workout because I felt like it was too much. I wore this at the gym today and I felt really good. I didn't feel self-conscious about it. It was a good amount for me. And as you can see, other than that, it has really good coverage. So no side boob here. I'm gonna give it like medium, medium to full coverage because if I had this little cleavage up there, we'd be saying medium to full. But since it's like under boob, a slightly different angle, I feel like people freak out, but it's okay. It's okay, there's no need to panic. Anyways, this is also a long line bra, comes up at the neck in the front. On my way to the gym, I felt like it was like hitting my neck a little bit and I thought that maybe it would bother me, but it was really only on the way to the gym. Throughout my entire workout, I didn't feel it at all and it wasn't causing any problems. And then we go to the back. We have these adjustable straps. I did do bench press today and I did feel these straps a little bit and it was 
slightly annoying, but I do love to have an adjustable strap. So I probably would just choose maybe not to wear these on a push or bench day. The clasp closure though didn't bother me at all. I feel like they have a really nice like flat laying clasp closure, but it was very difficult to get this on. Earlier this morning, I had to have Ian clasp it for me. So when I just tried it on right now, I just kept it clasped and tried it on over my head and I felt like that worked a lot better. So support, I'm actually like pretty supported here. I'd say medium to high support and we already went over coverage. But yeah, this is definitely a top pick. May not be for everyone, but I think it's super cute. Okay, then quickly just going over the Rosa sports bra. So this is the classic Rosa sports bra made in the Newbury fabric. Full coverage. You can get a little bit of side boob in this one as well, but I usually get less in this one than I do in the Rosa V2. Solid medium to high support. If you have a large cup size, you probably won't feel comfortable with like super high impact running in this one, but in general, I do find it pretty supportive. It's long line and like I I said these straps do kind of just cross over each other in the back they're not actually intertwined so it just crosses over but it gives you that little crisscross look and this is just one of my favorite classic sports bras from buff bunny i know i can wear it and i'm gonna feel supported covered i'm not gonna have to adjust myself in the gym with this one and i would definitely say that this one is large cup size friendly then technically this is a top but we're including it in the sports bra section because it does have bra support. So this is the Crystal Crop V2. The original Crystal Crop, I believe was only released at the Buff Bunny Boutique at Alpha Land. So I never had it because I do not live by Alpha Land and I have not been there. So that was in the pink quartz print and these ones, the V2 version is just in the Newbury fabric. So if you're someone who's like, you know, a sports bra isn't quite enough coverage for me, I'd rather go for a crop that kind of hits like around the top of my leggings. This one's for you. I live in little tops like this. I love them for summer, just throwing on for errands and everything. I personally don't wear these ones to the gym a lot because I prefer just a sports bra, just cause it gets really hot at the gym and even just having one extra layer gets to be a lot. But we just have a little scoop neck in the front, some seam detailing and a smaller scoop in the back with one of the gold sewn on little decals. I don't know if decal is the right word, but the right word is not coming to me at this moment. So we're slightly burnt out because I just finished my last semester of my third year of dental school. So we're going into fourth year. I have two semesters left and then your girl will be a dentist. So I'm so close. Anyways, side note, but this one does have a full built-in bra on the inside with an elastic and removable cups. So it will give you still the support of a bra without having to layer anything underneath this. So let's try it on. I also got this in the turquoise color. Okay, so here's the top. I would say it's like a mid-length crop. So personally, especially in a cross waist here, I'm still going to show a little bit of skin. So it's not like quite as long as something like the Camo Fitness High Neck Ellen Tank that I love that is a little bit longer. Coverage is great though. I would definitely say full coverage, no side boob, a little bit scooped, but really no cleavage. And yeah, so there's the internal bra here. I love these little internal bra tops. Um, sometimes with these tops, I find that it's snug on the bust and then not very snug in the fabric here, but this one is fitting very true to size and it's still very snug around my waist here. So I like that. We got these little seams. Straps go straight up and down, but they feel like they go slightly in in the back. So I don't think there would be a problem with them falling down. And yeah, I feel like this could really be good for gym or lifestyle, wherever you prefer to wear tops like this. Personally, I prefer to wear them for lifestyle. We have that little sewn on decal in the back. And in terms of support, I'd go with medium support. I'm just loving the Newbury fabric this launch. It's feeling so soft, just like the last launch, but you know. But yeah, I think this is a top pick for the launch just because Buff Bunny hasn't done something like this. And I'm a big fan of the colors. So now we are done with sports bras and moving on to tops. So we're starting out with the Nimbus fabric tops. I love their Nimbus fabric. It's like this super flowy, kind of like modal spandex material that's soft to the touch, lightweight, but just has like, the perfect amount of flow to it. And I love that in my kind of layering pieces. So this is just a little cropped tank with a little scooped back. I feel like these pieces are good for still showing off your sports bras underneath, but having a little extra coverage and not something skin tight. So this one also has the Buff Bunny gold bar logo in the back. Okay, so here's the top. It kind of hits like right to the top of my legging waistband. So even though it is more of a cropped little layering piece. If it's covering all of my torso on me for like 99% of you guys, it should do the same. So a slightly relaxed boxy shape. So I would say true to size. You can go either way if you're in between, size up if you want it a little flowier, 
size down if you want it a little less flowy. Pretty straight up and down or slightly wide straps. It does go outside of the Rosa bra straps that I'm currently wearing. It drops away along the side. So you will see the color of the sports bra underneath and then scoops in the back and has this little tulip detail. So super lightweight, super open. And yeah, I feel like it's a little much to wear this like all one color. I would choose maybe a slightly different color to kind of like go with it. And the Iris Tank V2. The Iris Tank may gonna come back. What makes it V2 is that it is now made of the Nimbus fabric. For some reason, the Nimbus fabric is feeling a little less soft in this collection. I don't know what it is. Is this really the same Nimbus? Usually the Nimbus fabric is like super, super soft to the touch. And this one is just feeling like Maybe it's not as brushed this time. So here's the material. You can see it's a little bit see-through as well, but it doesn't really matter just because it's a top. But yeah, I don't know if they've slightly changed the Nimbus fabric. Sometimes like their Nubri fabric changes a little bit launch to launch. Like recently it's been extra brushed and super soft. And I feel like the Nimbus is a little bit less soft but I still do love the shape of this top. I have it in several colors already. It has this really nice little crisscross back. It is sewn on these little crisscross areas so they don't like totally fall open, but it's so lightweight and I love to wear this on walks and stuff when I just wanna have like a little layer over my sports bra, but not add a lot of heat. So it has a really open shoulders and everything. This one's definitely more of a full length compared to the last top. All right, here's the Iris Tank. So definitely much more full length than the last top. It's going down like all the way to below the top of my hip bones. So definitely full length, a little flowier in a way too. So definitely a relaxed fit. Um, true to size and again in between size up if you want flowier size down if you don't want quite as flowy scooped away from the shoulder so you can see I'm wearing very light pink bra under this and you can see just about everything and the back is super open as well but those pieces are tacked down so you can't ever fully open the little crisscross section and yeah this is one of like my favorite little layering pieces just because when I do wear a tank over my bra and leggings I just prefer it to be very flowy very open and not weigh me down too much next we have this little mesh top so I was wearing it to the gym the past couple of days so I have to turn it right side out but this is the Cairo crop. So I got it in the white, which I feel like is just a really good layering piece. I love my little like buff bunny mesh tops, like the Escondala pullover, Horizon top, and now this one, although this one is a little more snug fitting and it's full mesh instead of like half mesh, half like opaque fabric. So it's kind of like an open style neck, got that little buff bunny decal in the back. It's cropped and it's a long sleeve and it's a very fine mesh. 91% polyester, 9% spandex. And here is the mesh. As you can see, a very fine mesh, definitely sheer. So you can wear this over top of your other pieces and still kind of show them through, but still feel a little more covered. Okay, so here's this top. I would say it's a pretty snug fit. So true to size, if you want it to be basically like skin tight. I may have like a teeny bit of extra space like around the wrists. So size up if you would like just a slightly looser fit. Personally, I think that this fits me just how I'd want it to. It's about a mid-length crop. It does go below a long line sports bra, but we're still showing a little bit of skin. Um, the wide neck, you will see your straps underneath, but since it is sheer anyway, you're going to see whatever bra you're wearing. So it's definitely a piece to layer over if you wanna see what you're wearing underneath. I'm wearing a super light pink right now. This is not launching, by the way. I just used it to compare to the old Revolution bra. And then here's the back. I like little layering pieces like this. I like little layering pieces like this, especially mesh, because you still get to kind of show what's underneath and it's not very hot. Even though this is a mesh, I probably could still wear this to the gym and not feel super overheated. Now onto the other category. So we're gonna start out with the Revolution dress. So last time Buff Bunny launched a dress, they said it had a built-in bra, but it really just had cut pads. It didn't have any elastic. So I really didn't feel like super supported and was a little bummed at that. This one has a major pro in that it does have an actual built-in bra. So here's the built-in bra. It does have an elastic, it does have cut pads, so it's going to be supportive, but we'll get into the cons in a second. But anyways, Revolution dress, it's gonna be Newbury fabric, same top structure as the Revolution bra, so square neck and everything, little decal in the back, and this one is a bodycon dress. And because it is a bodycon dress, I think they wanted to avoid having like shorts underneath it because you would see the lines. So unfortunately, there is no like built-in bodysuit or built-in shorts to this, so it's not really an exercise dress, it's just like a dress made 
of exercise fabric, which isn't a bad thing to have. It will be very comfy, but they do have these little silicone sticky lines that go on the bottom of the dress to kind of help the dress from riding up. So we're gonna test this because every bodycon dress always rides up on me and it's like super annoying to be like constantly pulling down your dress every two seconds. So these are the little silicone stickies. I hope that they work. Here is the dress. Just, there's just, there's just some things that I don't love about it. So first of all, we do have adequate bra support. So I'm glad that they actually had the elastic in there. Square neckline is super cute. I just am kind of getting some pulling of the fabric here. If you can see the inner seam is like kind of wanting to fold out a little bit. So not quite sitting straight. We are getting full side boob coverage and everything. The back is super cute um, for me fits well in the bust area and I really don't think I could be sizing down. Sorry if I'm like looking out there. There's this hummingbird that keeps coming up to my window and it's super cute. But I do have a little bit of gaping back here. A similar dress to this is like the Alpha Elite Allure dress. And I feel like, and in that one, I did size down to an extra small, but that one also doesn't have an elastic. So I felt like I needed to size down to an extra small to have a little more compressive support. This one, I would definitely stick with your bra size so that it's not too tight or too loose up there. So they have those little silicone things. Um, it doesn't help me that much because it's already so short that I feel like I'm already like one step away from exposing everything. Also, because it has this little slit, I kind of wish it didn't because I feel like when I step around a little bit, the slit area kind of pops up a little bit. And at one point it even like fully flipped up like that, which leaves us like about a half an inch until the world sees my underwear. Let me, let me, we, let's show the bottom a little bit more. Okay, just so we can focus on the bottom. I could pull it down a little more, but then it just pulls the top down so much. Okay, let's do a little test. So we're gonna pull it down to like a reasonable length and then let's do a little mark. Mark is there. So we'll see if these little silicone things prevent it from riding up. Just some casual walks, nothing crazy. And we return and it <laughs> rode up. Oh, can we even see? This is where we started. So I think I think it's, it's this little like slit area that kind of wants to come up. So I feel like the side grips, they do a little bit, but not quite enough for me. And again, it's just a little bit short. I am very tall, so dresses are often short on me. So if you're shorter, this would probably be a much better length. Also, let's just take a moment to appreciate that we do have organs and it's okay if our stomachs are not completely flat. My stomach personally is never completely flat. We have organs here and they need to do their jobs. So just a little side moment for anyone who feels like they can't wear a bodycon dress because they're not like, like this. I, I literally, I literally can't even do it. I can't even get my stomach completely flat. So. So I like how soft this is. I do feel confident that at least it's going to stay under my butt, but we are just getting a little bit of riding up in the front. And personally, I would have preferred just another exercise dress, like the dresses from the 70 collection, except with a built-in bra. And that's the last of pieces I got, but there's two more pieces. So there's the Sphinx ribbed skirt. So it's made of the same fabric as the Material Girl leggings and the Sphinx ribbed top. So it's got a cross waist and it's kind of just like an elongated pencil skirt. It's 24 inches in length. It's kind of giving business attire. Kind of reminds me when they did the suits in the boss launch. This is definitely not something I would work out in. I don't think it's intended to work out in. And personally, I don't really wear a lot of skirts like this, but. And then the last thing is an accessory. So instead of scrunchies, which they usually do, they have these little twist headbands, which I think are super cute. So it's made of the Nubri fabric and they just have little headbands that kind of go with some of the Nubri colors that we're launching, including some of the solids as well as some of the gold bossies. So that is all of the pieces. After I try everything on, we will come back and revisit for my top picks of the launch. Officially done trying everything on. So if I had to pick a top three, um, definitely number one would be that Harmony Halter Sports Bra. It might not be for everyone, but I really loved it. Then the Monarch Leggings, they haven't been around in a while and I ended up just loving them so much more than I thought last time. So if you like pocket leggings, highly recommend. And then for number three, I would either go for the Crystal Crop or the Cairo Crop Top. So I wasn't sure I was gonna like the Cairo Crop Top, but I can't say no to a nice little mesh. And I'm a big fan of the Crystal Crop. At first I was like, okay, there's so many of these little like built-in bra tanks, 
but but it is Newbury fabric, which I love. And some of the built-in bra tanks, like something like an Align tank with that like V, I feel like I'm constantly falling out of it. And this one has really good coverage and I don't feel like I'm falling out anywhere. So I think that's definitely a big pro of this one. Remember, if you are shopping the launch to use code Catherine to get you 10% off, save you some money. And as always, leave your comments down below. I do try to get back to every single YouTube comment. Sometimes I can't get back to all of my Instagram DMs because the Instagram app is trash and will only show me like 20 DMs sometimes. So if you wanna make sure you get your questions answered, best bet is to comment on the YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.